Oh, how are you? How are you doing? Yeah. How was your weekend? It was a process. It was a wild day. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. You can read me. Yeah. Yeah. What did you get up to? Not a lot. Not a lot. I, um, what did I do? Jesus, Wednesday now. When I know. Is I oh. forget. I, oh, I lived in Waikiki. Yes. I lived at Shelby. had an amazing time. Um, her father's birthday. Sixty. Yeah. yeah. Now, basically, yeah. like, which is like, it feels weird having old parents because you get used to being sixty-six. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll let you Thank you. Nice to see you, by the way. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're fine. Hello. Sorry for disappearing, guys. I hope the sound's improved. Maybe. Did it? Did it? Johnny, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but I appreciate you being here. Um, let me put this here. Sorry, Pink, that was very rude of me, but I wanted to make sure you had your call this time. So I don't uh, offend y'all. Sound is okay? Sound is okay. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. That's what I like to hear. Now we've got good sound quality. That's what we're after. Sound is better. Perfect. No worries. Fantastic. Now, I'm sorry, guys. We had a great thing going there. He'll be hammering the like button. We've had uh, JC come in and achieve the live goal. And I went and threw it all under the bus because I wanted to get the sound better. And usually when you exit out of the uh, live, it allows you to reconnect into the same live and continue if it's within, like, five minutes. But this time it's like, Nah, see, no dice, go away. And so, here I am, starting a new life. So that's where we're at. What time is it right now in New Zealand? It is, uh, it is, it is, it is. What time is it in New Zealand? It is. I can't see all my devices, guys. So you're going to have to ask a Kiwi inside the chat room to tell you what time it is. So that's wild. So. Huge apologies to everyone who was just in the live stream who got kicked because Sid couldn't figure out how to reconnect the sound properly. But here we are. It's 11.07. Soon it will be 11.37. And we'll be running out of time. Put me up and turn me on. Up and turn me on. Alright, so we're adding these tans. Bill Gettin's colours. A little bit at a time. Bitty bitty bum bum. Bitty bitty bum bum. It's 4 p.m. in the States. Well, actually, because the States is so vast, so big, so incredibly large, the States moves through multiple time zones. And I'm very excited for you guys to have that opportunity. Am I still in Australia? No, I'm not. How about that merch? Cobb, oh, I've got you sorted. There is merch available by the link in the bio. Now, for the first time, in a long time, you can buy a Paint Me Like One of Your French Girls t-shirt. JC, hello, welcome back. <clears throat> I love you to bits, JC, and I'm sorry for cutting the stream before. It was supposed to let me reconnect to the same stream, so we lost everyone who was watching, and then we reconnected, and we lost the lights, and we lost the, the, the hats with the mustaches, and I'm so sorry, but we're here now, and uh, apparently we've got good sound, so... This is an improvement. Do you use oil paints? No, we've talked about the oil paints. I should probably do a reel on that so we can uh, refer back to it. But I don't use oil paints. It'll look like oil paint because of what I've done with acrylic paint. So that's fun. Good for me. I'm glad. This is New Zealand, by the way, guys. If you're new here, here we go. Welcome New Zealand. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate you. We're in New Zealand. We're painting in a studio in a little wholesome place called Auckland. And I'm applying the last few bits of paint to this amazing portrait before it goes in a lovely protective box and heads off to Washington, D.C. So this fantastic family. We've got Chocolate Labrador. Slightly ambiguous. 
We've got a golden retriever, beautifully prominent. We've got a couple and a child, and a wonderful framed space. How exciting! I can't wait. Um, thank you very much. Mm. Stay hydrated, team. Hydration is good. Hydration is very good. Steve, my man, how you doing? <clears throat> Steve, you're with me on scene. I've been waiting for your reply. <laughs> Don't worry, I get it. You're a busy man. Um, feels like I haven't seen you for ages. Painting has come along fantastically. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. This one is very close to the finish line. We're adding in just a little bit of orange. Just a little bit of orange. And once we add in the orange, we'll have put in the final color the final keystone piece in this painting, along with our tanner colors, and it will be ready to dry and in the sink. Drying takes about 24 hours, depending on the medium, if you add the paint, if you add thick glosses, longer, we'll see. Um, I have a cartoon laugh, I've been told it's an evil villain laugh, so a cartoon laugh is much better. I appreciate you. Unless you mean cartoon laugh in a mean way, in which case, hey, that was so mean, chill out. There we go. Just gonna add a little bit of paint. A little bit of paint. Oh, a little bit of paint. There we go. Happy days. Happy days. Um, you're back. I am back. Sorry for disappearing, guys. It's terribly rude of me. Now I'm just gonna put the jug on a boil uh, because I'd like to have coffee midday. I feel like I deserve one. Haven't done any painting, but you know what? I'm going to put the reward in front of the work because it's that kind of day. Um, I'll be gone for 15 seconds. I'm just going to walk over there and push the button. One moment. But I also, sorry, I had something else here. There they are. Jug's on, but I'm going to run off and uh, make coffee after that's boiled. He is a teacher in real life. He is not a teacher. I'll tell you what I am though, what I was. One of the jobs I've had is, and you can probably tell by the level of enthusiasm that I bring to the stream, I am, was a camp counsellor in a summer camp in Maine. So if you're from America, I was a counselor in one of your camps. And the age group I had was the seven year olds, seven to 10 out of the younger kids. Because I had endless patience and enthusiasm, which ironically comes in very helpful with painting. Um, yep, well, if you were a kid in the summer camp back about seven years ago, that would be entirely possible. There we go. Just going to add a little bit of color. Just a little bit of color. There we go. Now, we're going to be careful with this orange. If we put in too much orange, the picture's going to turn into a clown picture. We don't want a clown picture. We want a lovely image wonderful vibrant colors showing the life and love of this family in all the fantastic ways and the way we're going to express it is through a vibrant palette but we apply the colors haphazardly incorrectly we run the risk 
the risk of uh, making it look like a color explosion. We don't want a color explosion. We want we want to craft the chaos and control it. Um, you should buy an iPhone from your painting money. I should buy an iPhone from my painting money. Um, I've got an iPhone, but thank you. I appreciate that. I will uh, look at my iPhone and appreciate it tonight. Um, you're currently though, guys, not on an iPhone. I don't stream from the iPhone. I stream from an iPad. And the reason I stream from an iPad and not an iPhone is that that way I can look at the screen of the iPad, which is larger as you'd expect. And I can look at that screen and read the comments. So I can be interactive with you guys and not strain my eyes. That rhyme was unintentional. And that makes me very happy because this isn't just about me painting, this is about an inclusive environment where we can all, you guys can enjoy being part of this random little process of me making this artwork and I can have company and turn painting into not such a lonely endeavor. We can all do this together, how fun. Hello Victoria, welcome. Victoria, you probably know what I'm gonna say, your profile picture has been catching me off lately. Like, I like it, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. I don't do well with change. Am I kidding? I do do well with change. I'm just, uh... It's just, you had the other one for such a long time and it was so distinguishable. <laughs> there we go. Alright, we're gonna put a little bit in here. We're gonna put a little bit in here. There we go. And we're doing great today, Victoria. I hope you're looking after yourself. Good to see ya. If y'all don't know who Victoria is, or don't know who Cobb is, Cobb and Victoria are lovely people who help make the stream everything it is by coming in here, moderating, um, pinning comments when I'm not on form to read every last thing. Basically, they're just an amazing people who make this all possible. Because if it was just me here, it wouldn't be nearly as fun. I think we can all agree on that. Do you accept, are you accept a request? Are you accept a request? Um, I do accept requests for artwork, indeed. So if you'd like to request some art, there's nothing available this month. Late next month, we can sort you out. We, I can sort you out. Um, but you need to fill out the contact form by the link in the bio. There you can tell me the size you want. There you can tell me your idea, your inspiration, your feelings, and it's okay to write, I've got no idea. And there you can also write, uh, whereabouts in the world you live, so I can work out an accurate shipping cost for you, depending on the size that you're after. When are you uploading your reasons to YouTube? Pick, pickpocket, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I have got eight videos on my phone, and I'm going to upload them to YouTube and I need to schedule them about six hours apart so I don't inundate someone. Um, but that's going to happen. And you know what? I'll put up the first one a night. Um, because there's some exciting stuff. Um, I really feel like uh, we did a, It was rambling. It was definitely rambling. But it was pretty fun at the... Um, da -da -da -da. <clears throat> It was pretty fun at the live yesterday when we just went off on a rambling rant. And I feel like the whole thing was pretty positive, guys. I feel like I feel like some people were in a better mood because of it. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I was exhausted by the end of it. I gave that a lot of mental energy. Like I really, I know it looked like a rant, but that had heart and soul behind it. That had soul, all right. Coffee machine's boiled. I'm going to be back in just a second. Classic art form. 
Yesterday was great. Many great conversations we had. <laughs> Perfect. I can't guarantee we'll do it again today. But that's the fun of live things. You never quite know what's going to happen. You never know. Um, we'll just put that inside the paint tray. Where do you get your trousers from? Trouser store. Um, I get my trousers from... Just put this down here. There we go. I get my trousers from... <laughs> Hello. You beautiful beautiful painting. This area here, I'm absolutely in love with. Coming down here, shimmering effects. Oh. Fantastic guys, this is going to be really fun. We're going to hit this one up with some oranges and yellows. You know, like where are the oranges and yellows going to go? Well, a little bit in the hair as we pull that out to the side there a little bit more, a few in the body. And actually, a few where we've got those maroons, and a few where we've got those tanny yellows. And sort of just expand out the color palette on them. Not just yellow, but actually a combination of shades of yellow to build depth into those sporadic colors. Just because you're adding in sporadic colors, doesn't mean you can't add in a bunch of um, shades to those colors. Yeah. Perfect. Come back around. Right. Here's our surfing. Here is our man. Where are we going to put our man? I'm going to go on the stand here. So this is Steve here. Sorry, guys. That's Steve. That's the man on the painting. Fantastic individual. Steve. He's on the surfboard here. Big barreling wave. And then we've got pictures of Steve that we put up. Now the reason why we put pictures of Steve up while we do the painting, even though it's not of the painting, is because that provides the atmosphere that makes Steve Steve. Um, no, so sorry guys, that was an incorrect answer to my trousers. I um, <clears throat> get my trousers from op shops. So I get most of my clothes from op shops. I love op shops. Op shops are opportunity stores second hand shops, um, this is where I like to go to buy my clothes. So, that's me. Um, because I like the idea that it looks after, um, it goes to charity, it's a bunch of nice, compelling reasons. Um, sorry, commissions, commissions vary. Um, the best thing to do is fill out the link in the bio. There's a link in the bio, you can fill that out and tell me the size you're after, whereabouts in the world you live, and what you're after, what your inspiration is, what your dream is for the painting, and what I can do is I'll come back to you with a estimation to make the project together. And you'll either be like, wowza, that's so cheap, or you'll be like, oh my God, you are way too expensive. Best way to find out is via the link in the bio. So that's fun. Um, guys, this is the, the size here that you're looking at. This is the smaller size I will work on as well. So the sizes don't go smaller than this. This is a 30 inch by 40 inch canvas. Now, you can creep smaller, you can. But this size is perfect. Now I'll show you why it's perfect. Hand, hand, see? insides. My ability to reach all the parts of the canvas without moving my body is perfect. You can stretch a little bit further and grow the canvas. So 36 by 48 inch is a perfect match for me. But you can also have a slightly smaller canvas which actually works perfectly to actually stand in front of and work on. And then the biggest size I like to go to is 48 by 60. And the reason that's the case is I can reach for the stretch all the areas. Now those canvases are massive, they're much more expressive because what happens is they, um, they're much more expressive because they, 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 
you have to move around a whole lot more to reach the corners, but with these ones, you can get more intricacy and detail, being that you're actually standing from a neutral spot and doing small movements on it. So you get that expressive movement, but you get these accurate strokes everywhere, which I like it, I like it. And then once you go over uh, 60 inches in height, now you're talking about two separate positions as you work on the work. And now you're talking about colors that go through certain areas and pitter out, which is fun in its own way, but uh, it's all different, guys. It's all different. There we go, perfect. We're just gonna keep embellishing these little colors. Popping it out with this, uh, there we go, hello. Just like that. So the orange is gonna be added in around the red in a few places, not all the places, but around the red in a few places. And what the orange is gonna do is it's gonna give the red a little buddy. Red doesn't need a little buddy. But when the red has a little buddy, it just chills out that little bit on the page. It has less contrast, so it still exists, it's still part of the image, it's still having an impact, but it doesn't jump out there and have more of an impact than the blues. It actually has more of a partnership with the blues. And I guess that's why they call it the blues. Time on my hands. Um, We'll be time spent with you, laughing like children, living like lovers, rolling like thunder, under the covers. And I guess that's why they call it the blues. Time on my hands. We'll be time spent with you. Laughing like children, living like lovers, rolling like thunder under the covers. Here we go. So we're going to add in a little bit of orange on this character. Not too much, just enough to give the uh, insinuation that Steve is a tanned, tanned stud guys like obviously we're not trying to paint a stud but steve's a stud and he's on this wave right here and you're doing one of these giant barrels and you're in the right position and you're moving along there's an element of stud to that and so we're going to focus on a bit more of a cut jaw we're going to focus on the uh skin tones having this having this deep uh, more olivey complexion to it like it's going to be quite fun here we go and I guess that's why they call it the blues. Time on my hands would be time spent with you. Laughing like children, living like lovers, rolling like thunder under the covers. Sorry guys, I was on the radio this morning, and now it's in my head. It's up. Check my neck. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just want you to know that you're my favorite girl. Right, we're gonna move around to our whites, combine it in with a bit of orange. Like this, making up a tan. Making up a tan. Here we go. Beautiful. Here we go. Oh, wonderful. This is exactly the color after in a few of these spots. This is really going to make some areas pop. There we go. Down the leg there a little bit. In there a little bit. In there a little bit. There's a couple places of the body that actually need this. There we go. Coming up around here. Fantastic. And then down the arm here a little bit. Again, we want to make sure these strokes show what we're trying to show from a distance. From a distance, you want to be able to see the surface, see the wave. Up close, the paint wants to be wild, primal, loose, bouncing around the place. 
Really like the colors you are adding. It's truly amazing how it all comes together. Thanks, Steve. You're an absolute champion. Um, I was sending Steve some pictures recently, up close of the wave. So I was showing how up close, the paint's wild, it's expressive, it's clearly paint from a brush. But then when you move away from your angle right now that you see, the whole painting comes together. So there's this difference between the two of them. There's the paint trying to be paint and fighting for each individual stroke to have its own individual identity. And then there's the overall image, the reality and the impression you're trying to create. And they want to clash and fight. I say fight, but they want to meet together in the middle. It's a 50-50 relationship. Um, that's what we're trying to create inside the paint. Imagine what the world will say. Imagine what the world will do. All you need is love. You'll end up on the streets. All you need is love. Love is just a game. I was made for loving you, baby. You were made for loving me. The only way of loving me, baby, is to be a lovely thing. Just one night, just one night. There's no way you can't pay in the name of love. One night in the name of love, you crazy fool. I won't give in to you. Don't leave me this way. I can't survive without your sweet love, oh, baby. Don't leave me this way. Sorry, guys. Um, you're covered in paint. Yes, I am. Um, do you take a vacation day? No, I already had a vacation for the weekend. For the weekend. But uh, the reason why I've got paint all over these pants is because it's been here for a while. And the shirt itself, yeah, I could have done better. You're right. You're right. So. It's the outfit I'm in today. It's not my stereotypical outfit. I do like a clean shirt. I'm not in the clean shirt. But you know what we did bring with us today, guys? We brought a really good mood. And so, we're using that to create some magic. You think the people would have had enough of silly love songs? I look around me and I see it isn't so. Some people want to fill the world with silly love songs. Well, what's wrong with that? I'd like to know. Cause here I go. Love lift us up where we belong, where eagles fly on a mountain high. Love makes us act like we are fools, throw our lives away for one happy day. Sorry guys, I've got elephant love melody stuck in my head. And uh, it's probably a wee bit better than, no offense to Miley, Miley I love your song, but uh, it's probably a wee bit better than the 58th rerun that Victoria's had to put up with of uh, Flowers. Great song. Do you want to hear Seb sing it 50 times? No. Let Miley do that. But, Seb is going to hum it millions of times on the stream. So, if he does do another song, we should see that. There's a major perk. Personal growth, in fact. Here we go. Look through here. 
Fantastic. Throw our lives away for one happy day. We could be heroes just for one day. You, you will be me. And it's also, uh, if you think about that song, is it's probably... I like that song. I'm a big fan. Yeah, let's just see if we want to... There we go. For one happy day. So one thing you'll notice with the surfer on the wave is we do want to make sure that lean contortion of the muscles is showing. So there's a lot of fluidity in the uh, wave itself. We want to make sure the actual surfer on the wave, the Steve, has this strength, this, um, this, this, this presence on the wave. This, uh, I'm here and the elements are around me, but I'm in, con I, well, are you in control on a wave? I don't want to use that word. I don't want to use control. I'm, I'm here. I'm here in this moment, with this, with the elements of nature. That's what we want to express. I'm here in this moment with the elements of nature. There we go. I just want to make sure that's not actually. There we go. Beautiful. Stepping back, having a look. Give me just a second. Um, da -da -da -dum, da -da -dum, dum 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 Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, come down here. We should be heroes just for one day. You, you will be me. I won't. And I, I'll drink all the time. And then he sends it to a place that I can't get to. We should be lovers. We can't do that. We should be lovers. And that's a fact. Though nothing. Talking to a small brush there, guys. And keep us together, we could still turn just for one day. Um, thanks guys, appreciate you all. We are running dangerously low on our clear painting medium. Vernon, Vernon, thank you very much. You're an absolute champion. champion. And <laughs> cheers buddy, that's a great compliment. So, one of the things that I'm looking to do with the wave as well, when I talk about not actually having the wave, um, if you paint strokes in a round motion around the wave, you'll have a wave. But you'll have more of an expressionism version of a wave. Look, I know the wave goes like this. I'll do a million brush strokes that go like this. And yeah, it's not going to look a whole lot like a wave though. <laughs> Cheers, Vernon. Um, but if you paint the strokes and the shapes and tones that you see, a lot of them are going to run perpendicular to the wave and head out in their own sort of blossoming little moments. And the reason why that's really special is that's going to mean when you look at the wave, you're not just going to see one giant object that's been made, you're going to see a million smaller aspects little moments, characters, objects, identities inside the wave that you'd otherwise not capture. And so one cool thing about this painting is that actually, even though it's a surfer on a wave, and that's the overall concept or subject of the image, inside the wave itself, you're gonna make out your own little things. You're gonna make out your own little, um, you're gonna see landscapes, animals, uh, objects, uh, subjects, um, uh, all sorts of things going to bounce off to you. Oh, I see like a, like a rabbit over there. I, mean, I see like a uh, box over there. I see a, 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 some scissors. 
Um, that's because with all these shapes all wild in their own little spaces inside this wave, your mind's gonna play small tricks on you and you're gonna be able to actually disassociate the wave and see those smaller blocks. This is good, this is fun. Mm. <clears throat> Yum. Right. Righty tighty. Righty tighty, Mr. Marty. Hurrah. Lots of orange, a little bit on the brush there. I'm going to scoop in. And a few minor areas. Let's see where we can take it. There we go. I'm going to creep up a little bit in here. There we go. There we go. Adding little bits of paint. That's good. That's his feet there. Good stuff. Now, you'll see here there's no ankle. We haven't painted an ankle on Steve. The reason Steve doesn't have an ankle is because in the picture, the exposure is brought out enough that Steve doesn't actually have an ankle in the picture. If we painted one, it's not going to look right. So actually, there's the front toes and there's the calf muscle going up, but the actual part here, that's part of the richness of those foaming waves and that's part of the... <laughs> Thanks, Steve. That's part of the richness of the foaming waves the brightness of the board, and the ankle there. It's all part of the same story. Hmm. Someone's playing piano downstairs. That's fun. Um, is that a beard? A beard? Uh, oh, no. Or a puka necklace. A puka necklace. Um, neither. Neither. In fact, you're probably looking at Steve's fantastic jawline from when he was uh, in his surfing days on this wave. So his chin's down here, a little bit of light is hitting the side of his neck and shoulder. We could focus on it more, but actually we don't have the right colors on our palette right now. There's a bit of pink in here and uh, magenta. So we need to come back with those colors and a little bit of white and smash it out properly. But the key is, just because we've got orange and we think we can use it to make it happen right, don't get involved with the wrong color. Use the right color. Temptation to finish off areas. Make them look correct. Have the ability, have the mind power, have the clarity to be like, no. No, I will wait for the right color. Dun, 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 dun. Um, uh, anyone reading this comment? I'm reading your comment. You're special. You're an amazing individual. And I'm not sure what you do in life. But, guys, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I believe, it's going to sound cheesy, that's what I reckon. I think the greatest gift the most special thing you can do or be a part of is have love to give and you're like oh that is so cheesy but you know what it's such a good place to start and sometimes when you're down and out and you feel like you're looking around yourself and there's not a whole lot that you can say are great sometimes you can actually just look at yourself and think actually you know what I've got a lot of love to give I've got a lot to share with this world. I've got a lot that I can actually do to make this world a better place. Um, that's pretty cool. That's a starting point in the morning. No matter what morning you wake up in, you can have love to give. And that is commendable. If you ask me, good morning, Eveline. Welcome. I hope you're looking after yourself. I hope you have an incredible day or night. Wait a minute, you said it was morning. You said it was morning, so I hope you have an incredible day, Evelyn. There we go. I'm just going to dab this around a little bit more in there. Dun 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 dun. There we go. I'm going to keep around the side here. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to move this canvas here. Um, happy International Women's Day. Oh, fantastic. 
Happy International Women's Day to you too. I'm just going to spin this on the side, the side profile, because I want to get around here with these colours and flesh it out just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just bear with me, guys. There we go, a little bit of that red coming in here. There we go, hello. Cool thing about the sides is we can just have some fun. What the sides are going to do is they're going to allude to what the picture's about. So you want to get the best hits of the picture and put them on the side. So if you see the side here, what you see, you see some movement. Um, you see some like swirl maybe occurring here. And then you can also see the color palette. You can see reds popping out of blues. This is good. This is good. And so that way there's a fun bit of paint down here that insinuates what you might catch on the front. Um, hey there from Candiff UK. Welcome from Candiff UK. Welcome. Though nothing will keep us together, you could still turn just for one day. We could be heroes forever and ever. We can be heroes just because I will always love you and I will always love you. Dun, 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 dun. So giving attention to these sides guys. This is doing the homework, but also, you never know. Perhaps in the future, the owner of a painting wants to frame me. Oh, thanks Ocean, you're an absolute champion. And Matt, thank you very much as well. I appreciate the support. Hello from Florida, welcome, hope you're well. If you're just joining in, you'll be like, that's a very, very thin painting he's doing. And you'd be forgiven for saying that, or thinking that. But it's all about to make sense. We could be heroes forever and ever. We could be heroes forever and ever. We can be. How many plates do you use a day? I use two plates that are the same plates every day. I bring those same plates the sink. I wash the paint off them. I use hot water and once they're clean I put them back in the studio here. Three. We're around two. Just because I, I will always love you and I. Um, ever painted a Welsh dragon? James, no I have not. But that sounds very exciting. I'm on board. Uh, why do you, did you always use plates? I've always used plates. Not in uh, high school or art school, but in the last uh, however long. I like plates guys, plates are good. Plates are fantastic. Plates are great for a bunch of reasons. Uh, the paint doesn't soak into it. If you're using wood, like a palette, you'll find that sometimes the paint uh, soaks into it and goes dry on you. And you're told, oh, use these lovely wooden palettes to paint on. And then all of a sudden your paint's all dry and tacky and you're blaming yourself for it. When actually, of course it was gonna soak into the wood. But with a plate, porcelain, what happens? Uh-uh, uh-uh. It stays there good and strong on the plate, nice and wet, waiting for you to put it wherever you want to put it. Which is fantastic, guys, because I paint for about a, <laughs> thanks, Matt, because I can paint for about a two-hour session or a four-hour session, and if it starts drying out and the paint won't apply as smoothly and as elegantly as you'd like it to, and it needs to, guys. It has to, because part of the effect 
of especially my style of painting is that the paint has to flow. It has to really move, glide, transparent sometimes, but move over the surface. Here we go, beautiful. Beautiful, I just want you to know that you're my favorite girl. Beautiful. There we go. Almost there, team. Alright, Daisy. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> That's cute, Matt. I like that. That's fun. Thanks, New Yorker. I appreciate you. Look after yourself. Seb, always giving Whitney Houston a run for. <laughs> I wish. No wish. Alas, not alas. I paint, guys. I don't sing. I'm a painter. But uh, singing is an amazing talent, and so is dancing. Both those things. If you do those things, you get on out there and do them. Um, oh, Peter, Australia is great for the accent. Hold on, let me just stretch a little bit. Just the wrists. Um, Australia's got a fantastic accent. You're listening to a Kiwi accent, though. We're similar to Australians, but we sound a, a little bit more like a robot. Is that fair? Maybe that's not fair. Sounds fair. Love the depth. Thanks, Joanne. Appreciate you. Is my partner also an artist? No. She's a fantastic individual. She um, works sending people on fantastic overseas adventures all over the world. And she's got a heart of absolute gold. So that's fun. <laughs> Cheers, Matt. That's true. So all the links are in the bio. If you want to watch the replays of these, you can watch them on uh, YouTube. The link for that's in the bio. There's an Instagram. So I take a time lapse of the sessions that we have here and I post them onto Instagram stories. So if you're on Instagram, you can catch those. Um, and then I have these little, uh, what call them brain farts? Brain farts. Um, little comments that I want to make, not just about art, but life in general. And I try and put them out there for you guys because I don't know who out there might need a little bit of inspiration or a little bit of a thought or maybe I might have something relevant that might help you. So a couple of little quotes about AI art, making art and life in general um, that get posted there too. So that's all good. Um, so sorry guys, with the wrists, with art, what can happen? Now, although you don't feel like you need the exercise, what can happen is you can actually um, get quite stiff in your wrist. And what will happen is see this fluid brush stroke motion that you need from the brush. Sometimes you start moving like this. This movement here is very different from this movement here. I want this movement. I want flow. And so if I want flow on my wrist, you need to make sure it's stretched out. So two really simple exercises, obviously round in circles, flap it out, but going backwards like that, this is a fantastic one and then going over like that. Straight arm, push it out that way, and stretch both the angles. And that's gonna allow all your stuff to be nice and loose, so when you need to paint, you have a flow. Flow is really important, guys. You can tell when a painter was sort of rigid and stiff when they were painting, and you can tell when a painter had a lovely sense of flow in the work that they were making. I like a lovely sense of flow. Um, uh, do you sell your paintings? Robert, yes I do. But one wild card for you, Robert, is there's nothing currently available in the studio. I'm down to my last few works. I've been holding on to them. But we can do a project together. So links in the bio, fill out a commission form. You can fill it out with uh, what size you're after and where in the world you are. And then currently there's slots available in April. In April we can do something together which I would love now these works I put it in the Instagram bio but they've got a sense of a primal nature to them guys these are impressionist paintings but you don't want to get it twisted there's a very very large primal aspect to this work 
I say primal aspect, I mean I want the paint to be paint. There's so many technologies out there. I love to surf too. That's so fantastic. Catazaya? Kata. Kata. Katazina. Katazina. Katazina? Awesome. My partner surfs too. She's dragged me out three times with her. Um, what I lack in skill, I make up for enthusiasm. Um, honestly, guys, I'm more of a snowboarder. But I can appreciate that people are really into surfing. And I would like to be better at surfing. Not super good, but uh, just a bit better. So I can appreciate it and have fun out there. Have fun out there. Oh yeah. Surfing on the waves. Surfing on the waves. Favorite surfing scene in a movie. In fact, one of my favorite movies, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Who's seen Forgetting Sarah Marshall? If you haven't seen Forgetting Sarah Marshall, turn off the stream right now and search best scenes from Sarah Marshall on YouTube. Um, or watch the movie. Um, there's a surfing scene in it where Paul Rudd plays a surfer called Kuno and the guy from... <laughs> Thanks, Ocean. You're an absolute champion. Appreciate the support. Um, where the... Uh, ooh, what's the guy from How I Met Your Mother who plays Marshall? He's in it, and he uh, is having a yarn with Kuno about going surfing, and Kuno is giving him a hard time. Not intentionally, but just Kuno is just <laughs> doing Kuno, and uh, very good movie, guys. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it, 100% recommend. It's great. Great movie. Now, that there is done. Let's put that down there for a moment. We're gonna have a look in here. We're gonna have a look in here. And we're gonna grab some paint straight from the tube. Just here. Thanks, JNL. You know what? I love having you here while I create. It's an honor and a privilege. Um, hey, Sid, got to ask, are you happy? That's a great question. Yes, I am. Yes, I am happy. I'm over the moon to be here at this very moment with you guys. I'm over the moon to be able to spend my days creating paintings. I'm over the moon to be able to create fulfillment in people's life um, through my craft. And I get a huge kick out of knowing that there's a five-year-old me in the past who was so, so proud of where 30 year old me is right now. So, am I happy? Yes, and I really hope that with these digital pixels that are, well these uh, photons that are flying off what's happening right here and sound waves flying into the iPad and phone and going through technology, that it's reaching you and have the same effect to you because that would be fantastic. I'll be over the moon about that. I would be over the moon. Um, what great cast in that movie? I'll definitely crack it. Do it. Do it. You won't regret it. That is an excellent movie. Excellent. In all the ways. Right. Let me just check something, guys. Let me check this. Do, 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 do. Right. I do need to run off to. Two to two to two. two. Get a piece framed. It's in the car at the moment and it needs to head up to the north of Auckland to be framed. So I'll be here with you for another 15 minutes, I reckon. It's a cheeky little 15 minutes. And then I'll come back later on. Pink, I like a little smile. Appreciate you. But in this 15 minutes, we're just using blue. And see how it's gone that lighter blue color? That's happened because I've combined in a bunch of uh, transparent gel. Um, how do you decide the colors? I'd like to say there's a process to be followed. And in some cases there is. 
a little bit of colour theory, a little bit of um, looking at the painting and making decisions. There's also a lot of chaos to it and a bit of instinctual nature to what you're choosing. So, complementary colours are always a win, certainly. Looking for colours you might be lacking, colours you'd like to add in. In this case, we've got a lot of the colour palette that we want to have in it, but we're adding more shades of blue. And what that's going to do is it's going to create depth in the blues that we've already got. This is good. Pink. Hit me with it, pink. What's it going to be? <laughs> Thanks, Ocean. You're an absolute champion. It's been a while, too, Ocean. Good to have you back. Especially when we're doing a painting of the ocean. There we go. Just down here and really around these sides, guys. Don't leave these sides out of it. Right around. There we go. Just capturing a few of these little blue areas. It's hanging around. <laughs> um, hey, TKR, you're more than welcome. And TKR, if you've got any questions, you can reach out via email or Instagram and I'll have you back. Um, if I miss you for a while on Instagram, I'm very sorry. The inbox got a little bit busy. Now I'm catching up. I like that. I like your choice there, Pink. I like your style. Pump it louder. Pump it louder. Yeah, that's a cool one. Thanks, Isaac. You're a champion. Oh, what was that? Was there something on my face? Thing. I missed it. Maybe it was. Here we go. Where else do we see it? Just down here. Just down here. Where else can we find it? Here we go. Sneaking through here. talking just in here too guys so here by this board right here at the front there we go that's what I wanted perfect Isaac thanks for a panda Hasty from Scotland um, I want to find a pick for you to paint for me that's fantastic Stuart I would love to paint a picture for you but also, Stuart, you don't need a picture. If you reach out via the link in the bio and tell me you haven't got an idea yet, that's very common. And we can work together to find something that's inspiring for you or something that really gives you a kick, you know. This is all good. We can do this. Don't you like music in the background? Or does that annoy you? I love a bit of music. But you know what? If you can paint without music, it's good to do that. So then if you lose your flow, or if you're not in the mood on a certain day, you can then use music as a kickstarter to get you going. Um, but if you always listen to music, you'll come to depend on music, sort of like coffee. And once you're depending on music, I'm sorry, you can't use it to kickstart yourself. So keep your tricks in your bag for when you get into that rush. And then you've got your playlist and your music, good to go. I have traveled around Italy. Um, loved it. Uh, Pantheon, um, huge fan of the Pantheon. Uh, Winston the Sistine Chapel. 
He did a fantastic job in there. That was very fun. Um, let's have a look see here. There we are. So, huge shout out to him and the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo, really just sing, you know? There we go. A bit more around here. And a bit more through here. Now we're talking. Cool, cool, cool. We yeah, have a bit of detail to the face here. And just there we go. Nice, 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 nice. Oh my god, I'm from Scotland too. Your painting is amazing. Thank you very much, Alice. I appreciate you. And I haven't ever been to London. Can you confirm or deny that you dance to Sonella's music? <laughs> of course I do. Is that that lady who sings Bitty Bitty Bum Bum? If it is, of course I do. <laughs> that doesn't even have to be in the privacy of my home. She's a fantastic artist and it is a privilege to dance to her music. So let's see here. There we go. Beautiful. Now a little bit more up here. And a little bit more around here. What about the top? Yeah. I'm gonna spin this around a little bit, guys. Here we go. And a little bit down through here. Cool. Yes. Have you ever seen a movie based on your life? I have not. I have not, but we can all agree that Bitty Bitty Bum Bum is a fantastic song. I think if you didn't dance to Bitty Bitty Bum Bum, you were the problem. So glad to see... <laughs> well, that's pretty funny. Here we go. Here we go. Cool. We're just adding these colors. See you later. See ya. All right, just making sure that side there's all complete. I'm gonna grab a bit more of it in a darker color there. Really get some dark shades in. Here we go. And we can add it quite thick to the sides, guys. Sides can go on thick. Because that's where the fun can happen. They're insinuating what the painting's doing. So we can have the sides as wild and as thick as we like. But make sure those corners don't get too thick. So it does curve around. So sometimes you have to imitate a stroke, go one way and then the other way to really capture what you need to capture. There we go. Let's go this way. Forgot my hand. Welcome back. <laughs> um, you should, it's pretty good. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but that's pretty exciting, David. Um, I just do it for fun, I appreciate others. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate you. There we go. Now we're getting some colors in here. So there's a lot of black through here. And we're gonna add just this deep blue on top of it, just to flesh it out a little bit. Like I say, we want depth in these dark colors. Just because it's a dark area of negative space, doesn't mean I've got a right to just ignore it or leave it dark. We want to build it up. Here we go. Noise. Here we go. 
Beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Very happy with that. Once you see the movie. All right. All right. I'm excited, Pink. This sounds good. Um, it is, ah, she's at work. She's at work. All right. All right. We'll pause there. Now, guys. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Pause there. I'm going to pick up this frame and I'll either be back again tonight or tomorrow morning. I was talking with Shelby. She was saying, what's the plan? Last night she had a uh, taco Tuesday with her niece and so I had to bring the soft tacos. So since I had to rush around town to grab soft tacos and get back to her place, it took up the whole evening and I wasn't able to get back to the studio, which was bit of a shame but tonight it's Wednesday it's not Taco Tuesday so this is an opportunity for me to um, get into the studio late tonight smash out some layers and have some fun so I'm very excited um, Victoria Victoria as per usual I hope you have an amazing time and thank you very much for looking after me Cobb love you to bits JC if you're still here you're an absolute champion and Ocean you too Matt all of you and uh, also Steve I'm gonna bring you up here closer guys just quickly I don't put my finger over the camera so I bring you right in there close to work this is what I'm talking about in terms of this wild texture this is what I'm talking about so see how all of a sudden this wave turns into paint turns into wild brush strokes of paint this is where we get to bring you around here a little bit more this whole wave, the whole thing should just completely deconstruct into a wilderness of brush strokes. And then when I bring you back out, right out again, it should turn back into a wave. So that's what we're trying to do. That's where that uh, fight between this is an image and this is a realization of reality and an impression of it and this is primal raw paint being primal raw paint that's where they clash with distance alone jc thank you very much and i will see you all in the very near future <laughs> you're welcome guys wherever you are in the world guys i hope you have an amazing day or an amazing night and with a bit of luck i'll see you tonight otherwise uh, I'll be here tomorrow, but a little bit earlier. Expect me around the 7 a.m. mark, New Zealand time. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Bye.